So here's the thing, buying a new home can be an exciting time. You're able to explore the depths of a fresh, empty space just brimming with potential, ready to be dressed exactly how you please. At least you would hope. I just moved into a new apartment and the last tenants left the box set of Family Guy seasons one and two in the bathroom closet. Money. However, sometimes these little surprises aren't as valuable as instant sitcom television. Sometimes they can be disturbing, unnerving secrets left behind in some of the most unsuspecting places of your new home. To celebrate my new apartment, I thought it would be fun to explore some of the most terrifying things found by new homeowners and see just how dark of a world that can be left behind from previous tenants now long gone. Like on TikTok, when a couple discovered something unsettling behind one of the walls in their new home's basement. Yeah, open it up. Hidden behind a movable wall was a steel door connecting to a small room with cement floors. The floor was stained with a strange dark brown liquid and the only contents of the room was one working light bulb and some loose wires just hanging from the wall. Although the creators do seem amused in the video, the owners of the home were rightfully worried. I mean, if this doesn't scream murder room, then I don't know what does. They also noted that connected to the floor was a drainage system, and easily the most disturbing aspect of it all was the fact that the door did have a lock, but it locked from the outside. See, this is the part that I just can't excuse. I can't see any reason why the door would only lock from the outside if it wasn't meant to keep somebody in. Many people theorize that it might have been some sort of panic room, however, that really doesn't make any sense either. Because wouldn't you want the door to lock from the inside if that was the case? Now, I'm just saying, I think I'm making some fair points. However, instead of uselessly theorizing to an audience on the internet, this couple did the smart thing and alerted the authorities who soon came by to check out the room, to which they found absolutely nothing. They didn't find a thing. Although just because they didn't find anything doesn't mean nothing sinister happened, they just didn't find any substantial proof. The brown liquid turned out to be rust and no other notable DNA was extracted. However, I still cannot figure out a reasonable reason for this room to exist with the lock on the outside, outside of a prison being used to hold somebody captive. Let me know your theories. However, between you and me, maybe it's best we don't know. Like in 2019, when somebody found a 1985 VHS tape titled Sexual Positions hidden in their basement rafters while repairing their plumbing system. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave mom and dad's sex tape alone. Thank you very much. However, what I might explore is a very interesting tunnel system hidden under an apartment building in Colorado Springs. Reddit user Holly Fieldart posted online of his discovery of a mile long tunnel attached to his new apartment building filled with unnerving murals of what appears to be zombies and other ghouls. The origin of the mural remains an unnerving mystery, however the existence of this tunnel at all is actually pretty easily explainable. It's simply just a large drainage tunnel for areas with increased flooding. In bad storms, the entire tunnel can actually fill with water, so it's probably best to not stay down there for too long, however the mural was likely created by somebody wanting a free place to graffiti. Creating something that would make unknowing explorers question if they were walking into a cult ritual though? Well, that's just added flavor from the artist. Mwah. Speaking about floods though, let's see what happens when your home gets its fair share of water damage. And let me tell you, damaging the basement carpets should be the least of your worries. In 2022, a man who lived in an old rice and cotton plantation endured a multi-day rainstorm that completely tore up the land around his home. Large chunks of soil and debris got ripped apart, and after examining a hole that got eroded due to the flood damage, the homeowner found something unnerving. A casket buried only two feet beneath the surface. Immediate speculation was that this was a slave burial site from way back in the 1800s. Apparently, the owner knew that a slave cemetery existed somewhere, however, no records currently existed documenting the exact location. Although this seems likely knowing this, some people do disagree, saying that there's no way a wooden box could ever survive for over 100 years in this condition. However, others have struck back, claiming that the location of the casket and the soil that it was in could potentially preserve the condition. So. Who knows? I'm not a scientist. I certainly get paid a lot more. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any resolution as to what the box turned out to be. The original poster claimed that he was having an expert arrive soon to examine the remains. Unfortunately though, no further update was posted to the thread, leaving the contents of the washed up coffin forever a mystery. However, don't let disturbing anomalies make you lose sleep. 
In fact, sleep better than you ever had before using a product from this video's sponsor, Manta Sleep. I'll be honest, I often sleep terribly. Really, it takes me hours to go to sleep on any given night and I never thought about trying a sleep mask until Manta Sleep offered to send me one. And honestly, it did wonders. Their adjustable sleep mask mixed with its incredibly comfortable material and padding had me sleeping like a baby in less than 30 minutes. It blocked out literally all light, leaving me relaxed, ready for a great night's sleep. Hell, the mask can even play music through comfortable Bluetooth speakers built into the side of the mask. I always worried I wouldn't be able to sleep with a mask strapped to my face, but Manta Sleep Sleep Mask truly felt invisible. I know it's hard to trust most sponsor segments, but Manta Sleep gave me little to no guidelines for this ad read. They simply wanted me to try out their product and give my honest opinion, which I respect immensely. I assure you, buying from Manta Sleep will not only lead to a better night's rest, but also a high quality, reliable product. If you want to try a Manta Sleep product for yourself, click the link at the top of the description and use discount code PIXELS for 10% off your first order. Thank you again Manta Sleep for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's return to today's content. The thing about a lot of these discoveries is it's actually really hard to give an exact explanation of their origins, you know, as the tenants are typically long gone. And on top of this, trying to get any specific time frame as to when any of these were first created is almost impossible to know. Like in 2022, when Redditor Adam Powers 22 found a full-on satanic symbol scratched into the hardwood floors beneath the carpets of his newly purchased home. Was this home used as a haunted house, or was this the gathering point for a satanic cult performing rituals in the living room? Who knows? I have no clue. The Redditor wrote that the house was a few hundred years old with no knowledge of the former homeowners. This is also hilarious. Apparently, the real estate owners didn't alert him of the pentagram and just tried to cover it up with a rug. My best bet? Yeah, they were probably worried that, you know, satanic symbol may have scared away customers. Well, the Satanists must have been in Florida for the summer. Luckily, it only took one quick sand job to scrape that pentagram right off. However, he did note that he will choose to ignore the smell coming from the floorboards. However, what might not be that easy to get rid of is an entire house. And no, I don't mean the home you live in. I mean the house inside your house. In 2020, a man discovered an entire house hidden in his attic that was previously sealed off. And what's worse is the attic is creepy as hell. The only way to get in is through a small hole that leads to the attic, and inside you can find the trash remains of whoever possibly lived here previously. The walls have a really unnerving wall pattern, and the entire thing just seems like a liminal space out of the back rooms. I'm sure I'm not alone in questioning how in the world this is even possible, and we're going to talk about a lot of discoveries in this video. However, a house in a house is certainly the largest. Apparently, the building used to be a general store and the owners would live on the second story. However, after the building got repurposed as a church, the new owners of the building decided to seal up the attic for some unknown reason. Then, at some point in time, the church got abandoned, to which the whole building got repurposed back to a residential home, to which the current owners bought it, completely unaware of even the attic's existence. It was only after they discovered a hidden passage that they figured out that they could probably pay the mortgage leasing out their attic house. Seriously, it looks like what, a one bedroom with a bath and a kitchen? Put some soil for the front yard and you can get $2,500 a month in Boston. Legitimately, the scariest thing about this whole video is I'm not even joking. The best thing about this place would be its privacy or, you know, maybe the pest control. I'm sure the man who found 30 bird skeletons in his wall would have loved that opportunity. But hey, you know, there's a cost to a good view, I guess. You don't really get that from an attic. However, let's look at something truly terrifying. When cleaning out his vacation home, user Ace Flores X found a Polaroid photo in the attic with the words, Do you see him? written on the bottom. The photo is incredibly scratched up, and the content almost appears to be an entirely black photo. However, a few users decided to enhance the photo in Photoshop and mentioned that there might be a person in the corner of the picture. I personally don't see anything, but I'm pretty sure that they're referring to this outline being a human silhouette. Let me know if you see anything in the comments. But man, let me tell you, attics are like a glory hole for disturbing finds. Wait a second. Seriously, this person found a whole ass knife room in his newly rented attic. Oh, and how nice, there's a pill bottle in the mix. But you know, I'm sure knives and recreational drugs are a fun mix, huh? <laughs> meth heads. But hey, look, I'm sure that they'd rather not be stuck in their attic digging meth mites out of their skin, which is honestly more than I can say for this, this just not right individual. 
This man found a whole orgy of naked mannequin dolls in his attic, and please, just please don't question the sole baby doll on all fours. And let me get the record straight here, basements aren't that pretty either. Imagine trying to renovate a basement bathroom and you find this looking up at you in the toilet. Or what about finding a literal ball and chain anchored to the basement floor? The worst part is the whole trap looks brand new. Yeah, I'm sure the previous owners leaving in such a hurry makes a lot more sense now. And look, this might just be me, but I personally say the new homeowners got off lucky, you know, considering they only found the trap and weren't actually used by it. Which is more than you can say for this unexpecting buyer of a former meth house. Oh, the step. You think? Yeah. What is it? At the step. Oh, shit. No shit. shit. Look at that fucking thing. Yo, that would have fucking straight up killed you right in your fucking head, dude. What's this house? This house ain't gonna fucking yeah, these buyers had a full-on saw trap waiting for them in this home, and I honestly can't see how this entry isn't the most terrifying thing in this video. It's not visually disturbing, but this was legitimately something that could have easily killed any one of the people exploring this house. I get it, that's a hell of a drug. You know, I'm sure my mind would be doing a thousand calculations if I was on it, but look, all I'm saying is I would 100% need a sign if I built this in my home. Like someone did when a child found the words, I'm under the bed, written in glow-in-the-dark ink on the ceiling of their new bedroom. I'm sure this was comforting during a stressful move. Oh, and how about when a group of kids found the words, help me, etched into their parents' crawlspace? And FYI, the parents have lived here for 25 years. So I don't know, all that I'm saying is your parents would be a lead suspect in this led to investigation, but I'm, not, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. You'd honestly be surprised at how many unnerving messages are left in old homes. As you would expect, most are surprisingly well hidden. However, some aren't. Like this house, where the words, What's a place like this doing to a nice girl like you? Was found on a wall of a home that at the time was currently up for sale. I mention this because all it takes one paint job to probably get this out of the way. However, interestingly, this home was built over two centuries ago. And since, only two families have occupied the space in the past 200 years. So it really wouldn't be that hard to determine who might have wrote this message. The unnerving part is, what could it mean? Okay, so excuse me, I'm gonna go a little off the rails here, but I actually think I may have found a meaning for this photo. And let me tell you, there's actually a pretty large rabbit hole to this soul picture. So bear with me here. Googling the phrase links to a book called The Soul of a New Machine, a nonfiction book documenting a software engineer's race to develop a next generation computer. And when describing the basement of one of the book's lead characters, Tom West, the book reads, Most of the basement walls are made of field stone laid up dry originally, but covered now with cement in such a way you could see the outline of boulders. This masonry had not been done without some communal effort apparently, for on the wall, in black paint, this question was inscribed. What's a place like this doing to a nice girl like you? The description is remarkably similar to the scene of this photo, and after searching through the comments of the original thread, I found confirmation from the current owner of the house. Oh hi, this is my house. I'm selling this house. And yes, it's the same house from Soul of a New Machine. Tom West was my dad. Hi. She then goes on to clarify that the meaning of this phrase was likely created by her mother as a poetic way to describe her move with her husband to a farmhouse after being raised in a suburban town in New Jersey. I didn't mean to completely suck the horror out of this whole thing. You know, I know that's what you guys are here for, so I'm sorry. But if I spent 20 minutes falling down this rabbit hole, then I think it's fair to think you guys could spare me too. Anyways, check out this stain someone found in their new home. Now imagine their reactions when they discovered the previous owners died in this exact spot. I'm not too sure we're getting a cute explanation for this one, unfortunately. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. But between you and me, I'm gonna go catch up on seasons one through two of Family Guy. I hear the dog talks. And that's just hilarious. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means the world to me. And until next time, I hope all you beautifully attractive, sexy viewers have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.